Yo, what is up guys? Underpowered here and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video telling you what the worst map in Call of Duty is. In my personal opinion, it is going to be Nuketown. Nuketown in Black Ops 1 was a decent map. It was nice to play Nuketown in Black Ops 1. The chopper gunner would go to absolute work. The dogs would kill the guys in the building so the chopper gunner would kill the guys outside the building. But the thing about Black Ops 1 is, the game was more balanced. And, and when I say that, it was more balanced for Nuketown. In Black Ops 3 we're playing Nuketown and it's absolutely insane. You're running across the walls, you can jump 30 foot up in the air. Sorry about that, I had a little bit of a voice crack. But um, you can jump like <clears throat> you can jump like 30 foot up in the air and um, you can get around the map really really quick. Combined with the slide, you can just slide out of nowhere, jump 20 foot up in the sky and just shoot. It, it pisses me off playing this map, especially if you play it on domination against, um, say, two or three guys will know what they're doing. And because of the skill-based matchmaking in this game, they pile all of the bad players on your team. So this map just becomes unbearable. In TDM, it is bearable some games, but um, you just find Nuketown is so small it allows the enemy players who are really bad at the game to get kills on you. For example, the smaller the map, the more chaotic the map. The more chance you, a good player, is going to die. Like, I die on Nuketown and I just get frustrated. The best way to play Nuketown is to probably just use low streaks. Say the Lightning Strike, Hardened Sentry, and maybe Hellstorm Missile. But if you are going to be using streaks like I use on this game, the Hater, the Wraith, and the Raps, you're just going to get spawned behind. You're going to get shot in the back. There's all sorts of explosions what's going to happen. And that's just the thing about Nuketown. When they brought it back in Black Ops 3, they should have made the map a little bit larger, in my personal opinion. Maybe double the size. Because, like I said, the wall running combined with the jumping, it just makes for a lot of chaotic gameplay. For example, a lot of the gunfights, they come in across the sky to you. If you guys ever played this map on Domination, try capturing B-Flag on Domination against two or three good players. They're going to be coming from all sides of the map. There's only three places to go, left, middle, or the right. They're going to be flying through the air like fucking Batman. Literally. Like Batman, you're going to be coming through the air with the Kudas, with the gravity spikes, or any sort of overpowered guns like the Marshall 16s. And um, to be honest with you guys, this is probably the most frustrating map in my personal opinion. Of course, there are a lot of bad maps in Call of Duty, for example, like Kaloon on Black Ops 1. I think that was a pretty bad map. Um, on Call of Duty World at War, they got some bad maps as well. But um, this, this is just a really bad map in my personal opinion. Um, Exodus TDM is probably more viable to play than this. But um, let me know down below in the comment section below. What is your favourite map in Black Ops 3? My favourite map is probably Hunted slash Infection. It depends what sort of mood I am in. I really do enjoy those maps since they are pretty good for kill streaks. But the only good thing about Nuketown is kill streaks are really, really good. But you need to use Flat Jacket, you need to use Tack Mask. And. Um, you know, they should make Nuketown just boots on the ground because it's just abysmal when some guy's flying through the air like Batman and he just kills you. But um, anyway, thank you all for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, could you please hit that like button. Underpowered, uploading consistent videos. What is this? This must be a fake video. Surely it must be a fake video. But um, yeah, anyway guys, have a good day. Um, don't forget to leave that comment down below telling me what you actually think about Nuketown. A lot of you guys probably are going to enjoy the game, um, enjoy the map because it is a fan favourite. It has been brought back, you know, twice now, which is just terrible in my opinion. But um, yeah, anyway, I'll catch you all later. Peace. The CDP stands strong. Only strength. Only victory.